Tourism Toronto is the organization that markets and sells Toronto, the city of Toronto and, and the greater Toronto region, uh, all over the world. And uh, we've, been, we've been in existence for uh, over 80 years, but really the last about five or ten years, a much more uh, focus on international travel. In my place, in my place, were lines that I couldn't change, I was lost, oh. I was lost, I was lost Cross lines I shouldn't have crossed I was lost So for a long time, many of the visitors that came to Toronto came from the very near regions. They would often drive here from the United States border region because Toronto is about 90 minutes from, from the U.S. border. But more and more we're seeing international travel and so our focus as an organization is increasingly on bringing people from the major cities around the world, from of course Buenos Aires and as well as um, Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro and London, Paris, Madrid, Rome, Shanghai, Beijing. So more and more an, an international focus and we, we work a lot with um, tour and trade operators but also with uh, uh, everyone that, that, that consumers and anyone that has a, uh, an influencing part in how people travel and, and our, our job is to help get people excited and interested in Toronto uh, and see Toronto as a great city in North America to come vacation. But I'll wait for it and If you go, if you go Leave me down here well, Toronto's one of the largest cities of North America. It's the fifth largest city of North America. Uh, so it has everything you'd expect in a large city. Everything from the theater to uh, professional sports teams and all the major North American leagues. Um, it's the business center of Canada, the entertainment center of Canada. So. You've got a combination of a major North American city, but then also that it's Canadian. So um, Canada has some uniqueness to it. We have, whether it's our maple syrup or our love of hockey, all those things that make Canada special, you can find it here in Toronto, yet still have that major urban center of almost six million people uh, and all the excitement that goes with that kind of city. Toronto is a, a major international convention city and one of the reasons is that uh, the airport, so we have so much air access, you can fly to Toronto so easily from everywhere in the world. So it's the kind of place that, that meeting organizers like to hold a convention because it's easy for people to get to and, and of course we have people from all over the world that live here um, and that means that, that everyone that's coming from anywhere in the world, they have people here that speak their language and it, it's a very comfortable feeling atmosphere. So just in the next year we, we're very excited to be hosting the Microsoft Worldwide Partner Congress which will be uh, about 20,000 people from I think 130 countries in July uh, which is very exciting. Every year we host the International Film Festival in Toronto and that's a, a major event that, that for us draws people from all over the world. Uh, in fact just uh, the most recent film festival featured uh, films from Buenos Aires and from Argentina and a special focus between Toronto and, and Buenos Aires, so the two cities. Um, but it's all, we really work a lot to draw people from all over the world. So whether it's for a major cultural event like the film festival or a convention like the Microsoft convention and, uh, and others that we work on every year, um, it's all about a meeting place and people from around the world coming to Toronto to meet here. One of the exciting events every year is, is Toronto Pride Week, which is in early July, and that's an event that draws about a million people, so it's one of the largest Pride events in all of North America. And Toronto, of course, is a very large gay community uh, that is, uh, in a very sophisticated way, fully integrated into our society and hold um, high levels of position in government and, and in, uh, all throughout, in business all throughout the community. Uh, but every year in July, it's just a big party all across, uh, all across Toronto, and we're very excited in 2014 that Toronto's been chosen to host World Pride. So that's a conference and a, a celebration of uh, all the achievements that have happened in, in celebrating uh, gay diversity, gay pride all around the world. And we're very excited to be hosting that here in Toronto. Every year Toronto receives about 10 million overnight visitors from all around the world. Many of them are from the U.S. 
uh, many from Canada, but increasingly we're seeing more and more from international markets. So we have over 200,000 people every year from the UK uh, and about uh, 150,000 each year from China now, which is a very rapidly growing market. Some of the other markets that are growing very quickly are India, Brazil, Argentina, very important emerging markets for Toronto. We're seeing more and more visitors every year and we have to continue to raise the profile and, and show people what's here in Toronto, show people the great story that we have and the great urban destination. West, Queen West area around the Gladstone uh, oh, yeah. uh, is a, a lesbian culture is really booming there and so you, uh, there's some um, really interesting community leaders that have, um, have uh, identified that area as, as the base but w what's exciting about Toronto is that no community, whether it's an ethnic community or a gay and lesbian community, nobody is boxed into a particular area. Everybody lives throughout the city, everybody travels and moves around the city and it's that kind of not just diversity, but it's integration and people all throughout the city that, that share the city together. Um, a lot of people call it post-diversity and uh, that's really what Toronto's all about and where, where we see the city moving. Yeah,